All right, good morning, students. Today for Christ Light, we will be looking at the Bible lesson of Jesus Feeds the 5,000, which you can find in Matthew chapter 14, verses 13 through 21, Mark 6, verses 30 through 44, Luke chapter 9, verses 10 through 17, and John chapter 6, verses 1 through 15. Day after day, Jesus traveled with his disciples from one place to another, preaching and doing miracles. Crowds of people followed them and kept them so busy that sometimes they didn't even have time to eat or sleep. Finally, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's go away from all these people for a while and get some rest. So they got into a boat and went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. They headed for an area where no people lived. But when the people realized where Jesus was going, some ran and some walked around the sea to be with him. When Jesus landed on the opposite shore and saw the large crowd, he felt sorry for them. So instead of resting, Jesus taught the people about the kingdom of God and healed those who were sick. Later in the day, Jesus' disciples came to him and said, It's getting late and the people have nothing to eat. Send them away so that they can go to nearby villages and buy themselves some food. But Jesus said to the disciples, We don't need to send them away. You give them something to eat. Then Jesus turned to Philip and asked, Where can we buy bread to feed all these people? Jesus asked this to test and strengthen Philip's faith in him. Jesus already knew what he was going to do. Philip said to him, The money we have would not buy enough food for each person to have even one bite. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. Here is a boy with five small loaves of bread and two small fish. But how can that small amount of food feed all these people? Bring the food to me, Jesus said, and tell the people to sit down. So the people sat down on the grass. More than 5,000 people were there. Jesus took the loaves of bread and the fish and gave thanks to God. Then he broke the bread and the dried fish into pieces. He gave some of the food to each of his disciples to hand out to the crowd. Everyone was fed. In fact, there was enough food for all the people to eat as much as they wanted. Then Jesus told his disciples, Collect the leftover pieces so that nothing will be wasted. The disciples collected twelve baskets full of leftover pieces of bread and fish. When the people realized what a great miracle Jesus had done, they said, This is surely the prophet, the Savior, that God promised to send into the world.